Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, doing another late night video. Probably could tell because of the lighting. Um, but I just want to do a quick little video on a pretty cool new knife that I got. It is not the one that you see here. This is one of the very used sacks that I got in a lot of three off of eBay a while ago. And although I wanted sacks and I got a good deal of getting three sacks of this size, larger ones. Honestly, forget the name of this one offhand, but it's got a can opener, bottle opener, screwdriver head, a couple knives on it. Um, it's basically pretty big. It's not small. It's the length of my middle finger. I know hands vary, but it's not one of your small little tiny sacks. Um, had a really long day. Um, hope all of you guys had a good Mother's Day. Um, fortunate for me, it was not just Mother's Day, it was also my girlfriend's birthday. So had to split the day up between my mom and my girlfriend so you know how that possibly went um, anyhow uh, during my girlfriend's part of the day I decided to take her down to Venice Beach and Hollywood I do live in uh, California so I am fairly local um, and in the area to be able to go to those places and while I was there um, I found a pretty cool looking um, sack. It's not an actual Swiss Army knife, but it's definitely one that I thought looked pretty cool. And although I'm not a tourist, um, this particular one that I found and decided to pick up, I thought was worth the buy. So let's get this bigger one out of the frame. It's brought out of my box. Fresh, minty, crisp. Um, haven't even got to play with this thing yet little itty bitty sack like thing that says Hollywood on it and it will read backwards due to that camera I realize um, but pretty cool it's got the little directors um, board on there and then the camera and it says Hollywood and it's engraved and these are some nice wood scales it's $5.99 so really not that expensive but then again it's not a true blue Victorian ox knife some knockoff Chinese brand or some other ones there, but these ones have the nice um, wood scales on them. So I thought that was pretty cool. And for six bucks, you know, that's not too bad in my opinion for, um, you know, this type of knife. It's got a nice big key ring to throw on your keys, or I can, you know, of course take that off. Um, I don't have one this size. Used to a long time ago, but I don't have one currently. So I thought, you know, I would love something this small versus something that big as far as you know a small little swiss tool because um, you know I carry my my primary blade so I really don't need a swiss army knife this big so I just need a little tiny one like this um, inside the handle side here scissors which none of these bigger ones even have surprisingly so um, I was pleasantly surprised to see that these have little scissors and then also on the flip side here, opposite side, nice little nail nick blade there, and also a file. So just a little three, three in one, a sack type knife here that I thought was a pretty cool buy and really cool with the wood scales there. And uh, yeah, kind of touristy with the Hollywood on there, but I am fairly local, so I I thought it was just kind of cool all in all. And um, yeah, it's a nice little knife. Um, see, I don't really have any paper around. I was uh, sharpening some knives, so I got some pretty crazy cut up paper here. But let's go ahead and test the sharpness on this. Cuts. And not too bad for, you know, how cheap it is. And I can't imagine the type of steel used on this, considering I told you guys already they're like in Chinese quality. Let's see if the scissors will cut. Well, looks like they suffice. <laughs> Definitely not the sharpest in the box, but um, I think for the given task of such a small little knife, small little scissors, good enough. So, 
Anyways, guys, um, just thought I'd share this little cool keychain knockoff sack with you guys that I thought was particularly cool with those uh, wood scales and the Hollywood engraving there. So, uh, there you go. There you go, guys. Another little short bid for you.